What's up, man? Welcome to TY Talk, where we talk about the real and the real is what I'm getting ready to spill. Okay, now by the title of this video, you see I'm giving you my natural hair update. It's been like a year, I want to say. Um, a year and like six months. I'm not really sure. We'll go look at it the dates and tell, but the video will show on itself. But I got two words for y'all, okay, before we get into this video. Walk in obedience and move in wisdom, okay? Move forward in wisdom, walk in obedience. If you don't know Christ, I want to encourage you to get to know him for yourself. Read your Bible for yourself. Get the translation you can understand. I recommend it, NLT. Um, it's just, yeah, dive into it and start reading, okay? Now, let's get into this video. I'm giving y'all an update on my natural hair. This is a video of my hair progress. So, as you can see right here, I had cut my hair, <laughs> and you guys can go watch that video. I cut it myself. Um, I'm the type of person, when I go through something, I just be like, you know what, forget it. I don't know why I was doing that in my life, but that's what I used to do. My hair would have a lot more progress if I didn't cut it, but I usually cut my hair, especially because I have a lot of hair. It may not look like it, but when your hair starts growing, it becomes a lot. So I cut it, this was me. And, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, modesty. Um, and then I got my tape line and everything. Got my tape line. Feel me? That probably was the last time I got a tape line. When was this? No, that was in October. It wasn't the last time. So, you see, I started from, like, a one type stuff. <laughs> if y'all look, this is when I had a spare tire. Boy, your boy was not glowing up. Okay. Then this was my birthday when I turned 19 years old, guys. I really was, like... You know what? I'm giving him right now. I am him. Let me take some pictures. I had a little shortcut. I know y'all like the shortcut, but it's only y'all. Y'all only like it because I got the tape. If I had a tape right now, y'all would like me now too. But either way, I'm not getting the tape, so I feel like it. So I had kept that little short thing going. This was the last time that I got a professional tape line, okay? For my barber, Shanda Barber. Y'all can follow her on Instagram and get your haircut from her. She's located in Lauder Hill, Tamarack area. Broward County, Florida, if you're from that area, a lot of them, go, go, go get right with my barber, okay? So, this was the last time I got a tape, December 23rd, 2020. And then after that, this is my next picture I got, February 11th, 2021. I was singing, I think, I don't know, I think I was singing Superstar. Um, so, as you see, my hair started growing a little bit, and it started to grow. What I was doing around this time was pretty much nothing just putting a little bit of oil a little bit of conditioner in it and just letting it do its thing i was getting in the habit of really just letting my hair do what it do and february 21st that's my friend lala in the background uh, february 21st i had went to a baby shower and i had just you know sponged my hair or whatever but i think this day right here march 8th 2021 was the last official day that I actually did a tape line. That was me, I did my own tape line. Usually I would just cut my widow's peak, if you guys can see right here. I would just usually cut my widow's peak and tape it up right here. Do a little bit right here and call it a day. Not too much around the sides, because I wasn't really going, I ain't want to play with that too much. Um, but as you see, I cut my hair September 20th, uh, and then March 8th, my hair was at this length. So it started to grow more and more. But I'm going to show you when I really started to see exponential growth in my hair. This is when I went to Dallas, March 25th, 2021. And I had my sword with me, y'all see. <laughs> and my hair was like, you see, it wasn't getting too much progress. But listen, right here, right here, boom. That's when my hair started growing. I was like, I want to lock my hair up. And I said, I'm going to just take this lock stuff serious. <laughs> And I did not do that. Let me tell y'all. I was like, let me start this lock process. Everybody talking about locking up. And I was watching the videos. Me and a couple of my friends, like, they were starting their locks at the same time. We was like, we might as well do this thing right here. And I had one and got my hair locked up. Um, but, of course, I had to come back because if you see the size right here, they were too skinny and they were too small to be locked up at that time. So... Because my hair was so tiny at that time, she told me just come back and she'll combine them. So, this was just me. You feel me? I had a watermelon hair. But I ain't gonna lie, my locks kind of look nice. Like, they really look nice. Like, side to side view. My little coils. So, 
I continue with my locks in, and I'm not gonna lie, this is when I really experienced the most growth in my hair, like in one, in three weeks. Cause it wasn't even a full month when I went back to the lady, but it was like three weeks. And then she combined them like this. For y'all who wanna see, she combined them. And I wasn't really feeling it, and I let her know everything. We had a conversation. Like, no, hey, look, I ain't trying to tell you how to do your job. I just don't like this, da 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 da. And that was it because I, like, um, if you're a loctician, maybe you know, but I thought she was going to take them out and then combine them, but she just combined them. She said it was going to form anyways, but I wasn't feeling that look, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I just said, cut it out. And then I just continued to do my regular two strand twist like I like doing. And if you can do this side by side, me now, me then. I continue my regular two strand twist because I feel like, hey, that's what I like doing anyways. And I was in the place of, do I want to start locks with two strand twists or regular coils? But I just said, I just keep getting my hair twisted until it's long enough. Then I'll go figure everything out. So as you see, that's me trying to shape my hair. Like it was not giving what it was supposed to give at all. <laughs> But this was me um, in June, okay? So October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. That's like eight months, or yeah, that's eight months. And I started getting my two strand twist over and over back to back. You see, I let my widow's peak grow in. I started to practice self-love, self-care. Because a lot of people talk about self-love and self-care, but yeah, that's you when you getting this and that done. What about when you're like, like, you don't got to get none of that stuff done. So I was like, hey, everybody's like, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Why are you not getting a tape? Like, they trying to see what's going on. I'm like, I'm just I'm just feeling my natural self. Like, a lot of people do, okay, are you natural? But I'm like feeling my natural self. Like, widow's peak and all. Like, beard growing out, rough patchy and all. That's what I was on, some type of real love. Because guess what? When I be Mr. Put It On, I put this little tape line on. I'm gonna be him for real because I don't learn how to be him without all of that extra stuff. So I just continue to do me with that. And as you can see, my hair was like a little bit short. Well, a little bit short, but it was still like, at that point I thought I was killing it. Like I thought my hair was long and it was not. Like even now when I look back, I'm probably gonna be like, bro, you was not killing it. Um, But this was me, Juneteenth. You know, national holiday. I was so happy that Juneteenth was a national holiday. So I started, you know, I dressed up. We popped fireworks because my family we used to just go out and do everything for Fourth of July. But you know, we gotta celebrate our day too because we wasn't free Fourth of July. And I just was happy that we was able to do that. So um, this is another picture of me at nighttime. As you can see, my hair was like still. I want to say like I was like, like I don't even know how many inches that was. But I did not know my hair was this short. But you see, I thought I had length, okay? Oh, I don't know why this in here, but I just I just like this hair. See, a lot of people, I don't know, the reason I didn't get bumps is because, well, I really don't care what people say, but like, I ain't get bumps because like, well, who cares about the connotation of other people? But I ain't get bumps because I was like, I don't want to, I just want them for like a day or two. Um, they gonna know I'm from Florida, I got bumps. And then I'm trying to spread the gospel to people. People not gonna wanna hear the gospel because they gonna see bumps. But in reality, that's their own heart posture because that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you really if you really wanna be transformed, it doesn't matter how somebody look. But then again, our appearance do matter um, because the Bible does tell us that God looks at the heart and man looks at appearance. So that means, um, you know, God cares about our heart, not how we look. But man care about your appearance and sometimes man probably won't even listen to you if your appearance ain't straight. Um, but either way, that's up to them. So I started to continue to just get my hair twisted up. And I was like, okay, my hair kind of growing. This is when I really thought I had hair for real. And I really didn't have as much hair as I thought I had. So as you see, when I pulled my hair, it was like down here. Um, loosely, it was down here in this area. And this is in August, almost a year since I cut my hair. And this is the amount of growth that I had. I tried to shake it, but it wouldn't shake. <laughs> oh, what did I say in the video? Oh yeah, this was the day I did my own hair. This was the day I really did my own hair, guys. <laughs> and then, I really, like I was in the uh, bathroom all night long doing my own hair. And that's another thing people don't tell you. It's really a lot of work when you're doing your own hair, you're going on this natural hair journey. Because especially if you like me, 
you just decided to go full head. You ain't do no half um, fade, no temper fade, no blowout, none of that. Like, this is a lot of hair. You dealing with the whole hair. And then my head bit. So, this is where my hair went to. And then I just continued to just let it grow and let it grow. I kind of like that little look. You feel me? Usually, I never used to like my little side angles. But I like to love myself. You see, I got that, you know, my nose feature. Period. I'm black. Like, like I learned to really appreciate myself during this time. Because I just let go of society standards. Society wants you to get a tape every two weeks. Society wants you to do this with your hair. But, like, am I really doing it for them or am I really doing it for me? Like, am I doing it to fit in with society or am I doing it because I want to do it? And I just started to just get my hair and just started to take videos, pictures, love myself a little bit more, especially with that length. Because when I first got a cut, I didn't really like, you feel me? Um, it, it looked different when you don't have a tape with lower hair. Versus right here, August 13, 2021. I remember this day, guys. Little story time. My car, well, my mom, one of her SUVs, had literally, like, gave out on me. We had it since, like, 2006 and 2007, around that time. And it just gave out gave out on me on the road. And I had to walk to, like, five guys and wait for the tow people to come. So, this was me listening to Caleb Gordon. Oh, no, that's, that's me listening to a gospel song. I remember this day. And this coming up on the year, guys, right here. This the back of my hair. I never seen the back of my hair like this. Yeah, y'all, this the back of my hair. And then you see the growth. So from here, right here, all the way to from right here. So from July to I want to say August. That's almost two months later because it was coming up September 1st. I see a lot of growth. I don't know if y'all see it, but I see the growth right there. And I really seen it. So this is when I went to go get my hair done. And I blew it out. And this is for my grandma's funeral. So it was like, <laughs> I was like, trust, man. This is when I tried plaits. If you know me, like, I'm not a plaits guy. I'm more of a twist guy because I feel like plaits, they take too long to take out. They look nice, but they don't really last for real, for real. I'm not really a plaits man, but I got them and it was really nice. I feel like like they were so pretty. Um, my girl Ariana did them, not my girl, like, but like my sis Ariana did them. Ariana, y'all can follow her on Facebook, Ariana Howard. Um, and yeah, I really like them guys. This was me washing them because I'm a firm believer and I'ma wash my hair with a protective style in because. I don't care. Listen, I'm going to wash my hair uh, <laughs> if I want to. And then I learned some other things about washing your natural hair as I continue on this, on this journey. But listen, y'all, I was watching videos on how to let your hair grow. And this one lady, she was saying, bro, people be trying to take their hair out. Like, just leave it in. And once I learned how to just leave my hair in, it's really started growing. So this is me in the shower. <laughs> And I was like, bro, let me take some pictures upside down. And if you just look, I'm just over here shaking my head. Like, something wrong with me. Like, why would I do this? And then I just continue to let it grow. So October 5th, this would be like one year, one year plus since I started growing my hair. And keep in mind, when I first cut my hair, I went to my barber and she fixed it up a little bit. So she trimmed a little bit off the top. So technically it's not really one year officially, but it's, I would say it's one year cause that's when I cut it myself in September. So from there, you have a lot of growth right here. This one I was just using like oil, shea butter and stuff like that. That's a lot of growth from around this time. Yeah, from around this time. To this time that is a lot of growth for me so i just want to say like my hair really really grew a lot so this is when i went to go get my hair done because i always was like let me just go get my hair done i used to let it breathe and go get my hair done and my hair really was growing and then if i scroll all the way down to This was right before I went to get that little twist out, y'all see? 
October 22nd, I had blew my hair out a little bit, not all the way, but I blew it out. And this is the length that my hair was at, October 22nd, 2021. So from October 22nd until here, that's a lot of progress. I see, I just, I'll put them next to each other so y'all can see. Boom to boom, one year, transformation for real, for real. And then, I just continue to let my hair grow. This is like, I really like this style because I really like twists. And like, as you, you like, you feel me? Your boy kind of like, I was looking good. And like, this was in November of 2021. I started to just let it grow, let it do its thing. I was trying to do the little shake. What it's called, y'all? I was trying to do the little, um, I was trying to do the wash and go, and it was not working. Um, they don't talk about this because I feel like um, being in this natural, like natural hair type community type stuff, they don't talk about how when you 4C hair, like not even just 4C because I be like, well, I don't know what hair I got because the items got like 4F. Four, four like, cause they be saying, okay, this 4C, but they don't talk about low porosity enough and they be saying these products work and they don't be working, they don't be lasting. It's just like, it'd be stressful. And I was like, I don't know. But um, I did, from this video, I did have a little bit of curls when I shook my hair and I let it bake a little bit in the conditioner. I had a little bit of curls and I would say that the curls that I did have was like, it was nice. I just wish they would've stayed. Um, November 29, 2021, my hair really grew a lot. And this right here is me coming up on December 9th, right before my birthday, December 10th. So, now matter of fact, and this right here is my mom in the back and me. This was right before my birthday, uh, eight days before my birthday. I told my mom to just put some fat behind switches in my hair because like, I don't like having my hair out for too much, too long, I meant. It's going to shrink and it's going to get real, real short. Not short, but it's going to appear shorter. And then it's going to get like brittle. And then it's so much hair. Like, guys, I don't know if y'all really can relate to somebody who have a lot of hair. But it's really different when you have a lot of hair and it's really thick. It becomes so much and it's hard to get to every part of your head. I don't see how women do it for real, for real. But she put them fat behind twists in my head. And I took them out December 8th, I believe, or December 7th, right at work. I was at UPS and I just took my twists out. And this is a really nice twist out. I really like this twist out. Um, not because it looked like anybody else's, but because I just like the way my hair looked. It wasn't like one of those, oh, it gotta look this way, it gotta be curly. But that's just the way I liked it. So that's what I did. And then December 9th, was the day that I just blew out my hair. So this is a lot of growth for me from December 9th. So this was December 9th when I did my hair and I just feel like it was growing so much. Like I was able to put my hair in a ponytail if I wanted to. It wasn't be like, it wouldn't be a full ponytail, but it would be enough. So once I had did that to my hair, I had got it done. And this was the outcome. Y'all see the length? Like my hair was really lengthy. Like for real, for real. Like it was blowing in the wind. Like, let me play it again for y'all. Look. Boom. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. Yeah, my hair started growing more and more. And I was like, wow. I started seeing growth in my hair. And honestly, I'm like, wow. And I wasn't even using as much oil as I would usually use, but it was still growing. And I was just like, wow, my hair really is growing. So December 10th, my birthday, I went out with my friends, Tamaya and Angel. We went downtown. I loved them. And we had so much fun. Then the next day, we had a block party at my church. And it was really nice. A lot. It was so many people there. We always believe in praying, worshiping, everything. But my hair really grew. And you can see the growth of my hair from that amount of time from September. It's been a year to the next September. And right now it would have been. 
so almost one year and six months coming up i would say since my hair i started my hair journey and right here is another time this is january of 2022 so brand new year i said look at my hair um i just like the way i look with my natural hair and another thing that bothers me with haircuts is that you got to get them every week or two weeks they don't last and i was getting fed up with that too um i love my barber so much but i was i don't like it's you gotta go get a haircut you gotta go drive out your way go get a haircut just to look good for other people yes i don't mind getting a haircut i probably would get one like in life again but and then that's why i tried to start cutting my own hair because i was like maybe i should try cutting my own hair and i actually didn't do bad with the tape part but i remember one time i tried to fade my own hair it didn't work but this is before my hair growth journey but then again i was like i just want to get to that point where it don't matter where what my hair looked like i care people not gonna stop being friends with you and if they do they ne was never your friends anyway it's not like you walk around stink dirty and if you was thinking dirty your friends should be able to give you some clothes to go take a bath so that's why I was like, let me just grow my hair out. And I feel like I started to look good. Like, a lot of y'all right there, y'all might say this look real foreign to y'all because y'all can't go, like, a month without getting a haircut. But to me, like, I really start to, started to love myself even more because I started to appreciate all of my features, every part of me, my widow's peak. Who told me my widow's peak was bad? Who told me I can't have a widow's peak? Who? Who? So, when I seen that, I was like... I might as well just keep doing whatever, whatever I'm doing. And this was literally when I started these twists right here. January 8th, my mom was doing my hair. And I don't know what it is, but every time me and my mom, when she do my hair, we always, always end up like clashing or something. I don't know why, but this was the back of my hair. My brother, no, this is the back of my brother hair. I don't even know why I added this in. <laughs> Wait, is this mine or my brother's? I think this is my brother here. This, oh yeah, that's the back of my hair. So comparison from his to mine, mine was like three days old and like his was real juicy and fat. But this is the back of my hair, y'all. Look at them, look, look at my kitchen in the back. Let's look at it now. So even in the back of my hair, like I feel like that should be up to my standards, whatever I deem is like acceptable for me not for anybody else like you shouldn't be looking at the back of me anyways you need to be looking at me in my face so this is my growth of my hair and i feel like it grew a lot especially because my parts are bigger now and i just want to take time to compare all of my like my hair so that's pretty much it on my hair journey. Now my hair is like right here. This is my hair. Um, I keep y'all updated on where it goes, how it grows. And when I did this, when my mom did this, I most definitely didn't blow it out first. So I'm pretty sure if I would've blew it out, it would be like way longer. But as you can see, there's so much growth in my hair and so much more time for it to go. And even in that one clip, it was up here. Now it's down here. Imagine if I would've blew it out. So my hair is most definitely growing and it's nice to see growth in my hair. And comment down below if you think that I should start my lock journey now. I don't know yet. And also let me know what you prefer, uh, coils or two strands, like double strand methods. Um, me personally, I think I might do the two strand. But let me know what y'all prefer in the comments. Make sure y'all interact and let me know what hairstyle y'all like the best. Y'all like coils, twists, plaits. Let me know, man. Let me know something. And if y'all got any hair care tips, please drop them in the comments, especially for people with real low porosity hair, where your hair is like wet one second and dry the next. So make sure y'all tune in to TY Talk. We dropping videos this whole year. Make sure you give these videos a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel, man. Don't play, man. A lot of y'all view the channel, but don't subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because, you know, we need to become friends. You don't want to be friends with me? It's okay because I don't need friends. Anymore. No, I'm playing. But you feel me? I thank y'all for tuning in to TY Talk. It's been real, and I'm going to talk with y'all later.